everybody, and welcome back to another Ross Reviews, where today we are in an LTD. And this, the last ever LTD Australia was ever graced with, the BF. And my goodness, you know, you have a look at this thing. What a beauty, you know. Barra V8 up front, rear wheel drive, full of luxury. This thing is classy. Now quickly, this video has been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, celebrating three years this month as one of the top RPG games on mobile and PC. Last year, Raid added a whole new faction, the Shadowkin, a tribe of warriors from the Far East, recently liberated from the reign of evil, definitely one of the coolest looking factions in the game. With tons of bosses and heroes, Doom Tower, and don't forget the Hydra, Raid Shadow Legends is really the perfect game for all types of players. This month, for its anniversary, Raid is adding in new champions, new artifacts, special events, tournaments, and some of the best prizes ever on offer. And if you're not playing Raid yet, hit the link in the description below or scan my QR code. You'll get a huge B-Day package worth $40. We're talking three free champions at once, Misery Cord, Tiger Soul, Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews, 10 Spirit Brews. That's huge, and you can find the rewards in your inbox here. And since it's Raid's birthday, all new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth over $25. Just enter the promo code Three Years Raid. That's it. Click the link in the description, and I'll see you in the game. I have previously reviewed the AU LTD, and I absolutely love the AU. I still kind of think the AU is the sweet spot in terms of like an engineered Aussie Falcon for the road. The B series in normal cars. They really kind of did lose a little bit of that smoothness on the road. This BF, it's nice. It really is. You know, this thing, it's only got 80,000 Ks on her, and it is tight. It's really impressive to see this car today. The steering, it's, it's, it's like it's sports steering, but they've softened it up real at the beginning. And you get onto it, that V8, Man, it gets up to 100 reasonably quick here, and it is just so effortless. And the ZF box, as always, just so smooth. You know, you come around this corner, and it really, it, it's not even, it's really flat, surprisingly. You know, look, we're not thrashing this around these corners, but definitely noticeably sportier than the AU LTD. And just putting this thing into performance mode, you know, and just stepping on it a bit. You know, this Barra 230, big car, it can still get up and move, you know, it really can. And, you know, 230 kilowatts, a decent amount of horsepower, around 310 horsepower here. It's not bad at all, and even when you really put your foot in, you can even hear a bit of that V8 note out the back. And this car is 100% factory, which is really, really cool to see. It's really when you come around the corners, this feels like it stays a little bit more flat than the AU. The AU definitely rides a little bit more comfortably. And when you just see this thing cruising down the road, it demands some presence. You know, this thing still today looks mean it really does you know especially in this silhouette black it's really handsome and you know you've got the tan leather in here the rabbit wood grain in here it is classy and even today you know this thing really does look fairly modern still it still really has that kind of ford lincoln town car design especially on that c pillar you know where it's a little bit more squarey this thing is handsome now, price of one of these LTDs, look, back in 07, this really would have been one of the most expensive Fords on the market because starting from $75,000, this was a lot of cash. And, you know, a well-kitted out Fairlane would have ran you, you know, kind of that mid to late 50s. So this was a significant jump. Now, what you got over a Fairlane in this LTD was a few nice quirks. We did get these unique 17-inch, seven-spoke alloy wheels, which do look really nice on this vehicle. 
You know, we had 10-way power adjustable front seats, so the passenger did get that as well. And in the back, you did get upgraded ribbed leather seats, and they were bolstered, even getting a DVD player back there with a monitor that drops down from the roof. And probably the coolest upgrade of all was the satellite navigation. So you did get this little remote handheld, and it was just integrated into the ICC up here. And have a look at it. It is pretty retro, very cool to see in there. That is a very cool feature. Now on the used market, it really is hard to put a price tag on these cars because it really is going to come down to K's condition, you know, who's buying this thing, the collectability of these cars because they're rare. This being the last, last ever one, you know, this is the 07 BF LTD and in this last year they only made 50 cars. So, you know, from 05 to 07, it's rumored that there's only like 132 cars in production. So very, very low numbers here. And I've only seen one currently for sale on car sales, and it's for sale for about 25 grand. So I reckon if you were extremely lucky, found a barn find, you know, you could pick one of these up in rougher condition for around that 20, 25 grand mark. But something like this, the last of the last, you know, perfect condition, factory, you know, these things will really be starting to get close, I think, to that 50 grand mark. And that Barra V8, you know, this is actually the first car I've been in with a Barra V8 up front. And I've been dying to try one of these out because, you know, it really is just so smooth. That 5.4 liter up front, man, you know, I love a good 5.4 liter V8. And with the ZF, you don't even feel the gear changes. It is really, really smooth. It really reminds me of that kind of Toyota Century, the Bentley GT I've reviewed also. It's got that kind of waftiness, effortless power about it where you know, you just step on the gas, you don't really feel it, and then you just kind of get put back in the seat just so gently. And this is exactly how you do luxury. It really is. And we got to talk about it because in 2008, when they changed, they dropped the Fairlane, they dropped the LTDs, they came out with a G6E, the G6E Turbo, they really did lose a lot of that premiumness. And that is why those G6Es weren't used as dignitary vehicles because they just weren't premium enough. Um, they weren't. This thing, you know, even today, you look down the center of this thing and it looks really modern, really clean and nice. You gotta remember 07 and this thing still looks modern. It's pretty damn impressive. Now we're just pulling up on this back road and we're gonna find out what this BF LTD will do zero to 100 because I got no idea. I have, there's about zero information on what this thing would do zero to 100. So today we are gonna find out. Now we are just gonna put it in performance mode, build it up a little bit. If you guys are liking this content, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the like button because that will really help me out. Reset the draggy, build it up. Whoa. Traction light came on -hoo -hoo -hoo. at 80, 100. <laughs> the fact that traction light came on, you gotta love that. And uh, let's find out what that time was. Felt pretty strong. Now zero to 100 guys, that was strong. 6.8 seconds on a back road, first attempt, and the owner is in the back seat, wow. That is really impressive and just goes to show you what that Barra 230 V8 up front can really do. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today. So a huge thank you to the owner for bringing down his BF LTD because mate, to see one in this condition, it is just unheard of. And to be able to drive it, show it for you guys today, this really was an honor. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And we'll see you on that next video.